And finally, a perspective on population and aging from Japan, as we've mentioned, a country with the world's oldest population. Nobuko Kobayashi is managing director and a partner in EY Parthenon. She offers her perspective on population decline and the role of women in Japan. Japan's fertility rate uh, started its decline as early as uh, as early as uh, 1980s, and at that time it wasn't realized as such a serious problem. So it got late in addressing these issues. How it's addressing now is by subsidizing the uh, education, especially in the smaller children's education, and also making sure that there are uh, enough nurseries around, also mandating um, businesses with employees more than 30 employees to have the nursery uh, equipped with them, etc. So it's moving into the right direction, but kind of a too little, too late problem here. Culturally, it has to be addressed that uh, sometimes leaving early work for sick kids, for instance, that has to be seen with less stigma. It's all moving into that direction, but perhaps too slowly. And then another thing that will be more controversial um, but maybe something that Japan should also think of is uh, rigidity in uh, marriage system. In Japan, there is still, you know, this first marriage and, and then kids. That's, uh, that's the social norm. And if that changes, I think it may open other alternatives for life choices. The immigration population for now will be uh, the younger, you know, uh, demographics. So that's been talked about. Well, Japan will probably not be like European country to open up um, the border so liberally. Maybe population decline is is inevitable in uh, developed countries. You know, we, we don't need so many people maybe, and then it, it, there may be a positive effect about population decline as well. But uh, how to balance that gradual decline with the automation and with the technology uh, so that you can be supported with a fewer younger people is a big question. We're definitely going to run out of the uh, the human labor to take care of the elderly, so it's part of it has to be replaced by robotics, and it's a it's a hard labor as well. And how to balance that? So the uh, the longevity is there, fewer younger generation, more older people. But with the help from technology, how to manage that is a big social experiment that Japan is um, uh, going through right now. And I'm sure there's a lot to learn for other countries who are, in essence, going down the same path.